Hello everyone. From today we can start our new chapter that is chapter number two. So here I can write a new chapter, chapter number two. And the chapter number two we have, I can write the name of the chapter that is permeability, effective stress. seepage analysis and and well hydraulics well hydraulics so this is the name of my chapter you can see we have one two three four four major topics first we should discuss about the permeability then we should discuss about the effective stress. Then we should discuss about the seepage analysis. And the last we can discuss about the whale hydraulics. Actually, this whale hydraulics portion is covered in the hydrology also. So there the faculty who is teaching the whale hydraulics, he will cover, he or she will be covering this topic. In this lecture, in this lecture, we can start our first topic that is permeability. So I want to write about the permeability. First, we should understand what is the fundamental meaning of the permeability. Then we should continue and uh, uh, there's so many things we can discuss about this particular topic. We should understand what is permeability. So let me write the definition first. The permeability, the permeability is the property, the, is the property of the soil property of the soil which allows the flow of water through its through its interconnected interconnected voids or pores voids or pores means same meaning now we should understand what is the meaning of this statement permeability is the property of the soil which allows the flow of water now if i say if i say suppose uh, suppose this is the solid body we have this is my mobile solid body we have if i pour one glass of water on this surface will i get the water from this face no if i pour the water from this face i cannot get the water from this face why because there are no voids if there are voids definitely i should get some amount of water if there are no voids there will not be permeability so can i say permeability is the property of material if your material is having if your material is having number of voids or number of pores in that case permeability will exist if pores or voids are not there full solids are present in that case your permeability will be zero the member or the material shall be called impermeable material clear this is the first thing now let me explain one more thing that is seepage we will discuss about the seepage analysis we will discuss in detail I just want to clear the basic difference between permeability and seepage. It generally, if I ask students what is permeability, he will tell flow of water. If I ask what is seepage, again he or she will tell flow of water. Then what is the basic difference between permeability and seepage? So let me explain. Permeability is the property of the material. Clear? And seepage is the process. So if there is a permeability, seepage will happen. Seepage means flow of water, process. So permeability is the property and seepage is the action. Clear? Now we should understand this last line, water through its interconnected voids. What is the meaning? 
interconnected voids means the water will flow through the voids getting my point you know what is the definition of soil soil means it can be in three phase system it can be in two phase system but it cannot be in one phase system is it possible no one phase is not possible one phase means one phase means only solids only solids are not possible in the soil if the if i call something as a soil that means there are voids the voids may be filled with water may be filled with air that is a different picture so if there is a soil 101% there will be voids so water will not flow through the solids how it will flow man water will flow through the voids clear so that's why i have written here the wa uh, the water will flow through the interconnected voids now one thing one important thing till now we have discussed what is the permeability and what is the basic difference between permeability and seepage these two things to these two major things we have discussed now we can discuss now we can discuss a very important concept suppose suppose i give you one bag of clay one bag of clay we have one bag of gravel we have clay you know gravel you know gravel big size particles clay small size particles assume both the soils having the same volume one bag gravel one bag clay what i am doing one glass of water i am pouring here one glass of water i am pouring here now tell me in which case you will get the water first in the case of clay you will get or in the case of gravel you will get definitely in the case of gravel we will be getting the water first how is it possible we have one bag of clay same volume we have another bag of gravel same volume we are giving the same amount of water in both the samples of soil and we are waiting in which case the water will come out first so i observe in the case of gravel as i give the water suddenly it comes out but in the case of clay it takes some time that indicates the permeability of gravel is very high that's why it is flowing very fastly na but in the case of clay the permeability is very less it takes some time and slowly slowly it will flow and then water will come out after a long time so so gravel has highest permeability or higher permeability and the clay has less permeability clear now one thing i want to discuss here if if i say if i say this is one solid this is one solid on this face if i give one glass of water will i get the water from this particular face bottom face no why because there are no voids so water cannot flow water will displace from here and here water will displace but it will not flow through through this body actually means permeability will be there when the voids will be there clear now let me explain something if i ask you if i ask you the volume of the volume of single void the volume of single void in the case of gravel of course is larger than volume of single void in the case of gravel why the permeability of gravel is very high if you give the one glass of water immediately you will get the water why because the volume of single void in the gravel is greater than volume of single void of the clay but if i talk about the total number of voids then the total number of voids will be more in the case of clay because the particles are very small so number of voids number of voids number of voids will be there in the case of clay but in the case of gravel there will be few number of voids only so if i talk about if i talk about number of voids so number of number of voids in the case of gravel is less as compared to number of voids as compared to clay so if i talk about total volume of 
voids. The volume of single void I know from here. The total number of voids also I know from here. So can I calculate the total volume of voids? Of course, if you multiply these two values, you will get the total volume of voids. So here I can write total volume of voids in the case of in the case of gravel you will find it is less than the total than the total volume of voids in the case of clay this will happen this will happen one thing we people should understand oh my god what is happening the total volume of void in the gravel is less as compared to total volume of voids of the clay then then according to my previous statement as i told if there are voids there will be more permeability so here the volume of voids in the clay is very high so the permeability should be high here in the case of clay as compared to gravel but it does not happen why you see if i if i ha i have one bag of gravel i have one bag of clay if i give one glass of water if i give one glass of water at the same time at the same time i am giving the water so first in gravel i receive the water first in the case of gravel i receive the water but in the case of clay it takes a lot of time are how is it possible in the case of clay volume of void is more then also the permeability is less but in the case of gravel the volume of void is less then also permeability is high how is it possible so there is a concept of or there is a phenomena of interconnected voids interconnected voids i accept i accept the total volume of voids is less in the case of gravel but all the voids are interconnected suppose i have one bag of gravel i am giving the water so the whatever the number of voids are present in gravel all the voids are interconnected this i am drawing voids hollow space voids pores so the voids are interconnected see this is the hollow space voids in the soil so as i give water from here so water will follow this path it can be any shape it can be of any shape so water will follow the path and immediately water will drain out getting my point but in the case of gravel uh, sorry in the case of clay even though the volume of void is very high volume of void is very high but the voids are not interconnected they are they are randomly distributed in the clay sample so one void is there another void is there another void is there another void is there somewhere here 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 so voids are not interconnected so interconnectivity is if it is poor then how the water will flow it takes a lot of time first water will enter then it will follow it will search the next path here i should go now second hollow space it will search okay i should go here now i should go here so it takes a lot of time but in the case of gravel when the voids are interconnected once you give the water immediately it will drain out so now i have i have uh, cleared two basic fundamentals in the permeability the first is if there are voids there will be permeability that is the universal statement if there are voids there should be permeability second statement your voids if are interconnected if your voids are interconnected then only permeability will happen otherwise permeability very less so same things happen here also even though the volume of voids is more in the case of clay then also permeability is less but in the case of gravel the volume of void was less total volume of void was less then also the permeability was very high why because the voids are interconnected they are forming channels from top to bottom they are forming channels from top to bottom so this is the meaning of the permeability that we have discussed in this lecture so three four items we have discussed in this lecture the first we have discussed what is permeability 
Second, we have discussed what is the basic difference between permeability and seepage. The third thing we have discussed, if there are voids, there should be permeability. The fourth thing we have discussed, void should be interconnected, then only permeability will happen, otherwise the permeability will be less. Then the next thing we have discussed on the basis of gravel and clay. So gravel is classified under the coarse grain soil, clay is classified under the fine grain soil. Now the final statement, final statement I want to write here, that is the permeability permeability of coarse grain soil the perme permeability of coarse grain soil is higher than permeability permeability of fine grain soil so here we have confirmed we have confirmed today the permeability of coarse grain soil is higher or greater than the permeability of fine grain soil. I know, I know there are, uh, there are clay, there are silt, now sand and gravel. These four basic uh, classifications of soil we have. These two are classified under the fine grain soil and these two are classified under the coarse grain soil. So I can say these materials I have arranged in increasing order of the permeability. These I have arranged in the increasing order of permeability. If I say the permeability of clay is x1, if I say the permeability of clay is x1, the permeability of silt is x2, permeability of sand is x3 and the permeability of gravel is x4, then you people should know x1 is the least permeability among all these soils and then x2, then x3 and the highest permeability we have for the gravel. Clear? So this four uh, arrangement of permeability that we know. Clear? So, in this lecture, uh, the basic fundamentals and the introduction parts we have discussed about the permeability. In the next lecture, we can discuss, discuss about the same topic permeability but in details, some laws, some principle and some few more fundamentals we can discuss. Thank you.